what's going on guys like back here with a new video it's no doubt that after years of trading i've been trying to get scammed way too many times i avoided the most of these attempts and fall into some unfortunately but luckily for you guys i'm here to share my experience about these scams with you so you don't fall for them so starting with the item impersonation scams the scammers will hit you like this they're gonna come up to you and show you this in a trade so at start it's gonna be like this you know like strange festive scattergun you're gonna come into the, uh, the backpack you're gonna type in here strange festive scattergun right you're gonna check this price and by checking the buy and sell orders you're gonna be surprised that they only asking for 50 keys i mean you can sell back in here for 54 keys so that's an immediate four keys profit however the item that they are putting in the trade isn't this one it's actually this one it's gonna be name tagged as well so you never notice it. it's gonna be festivized the festivized ones they go for like three dollars which is a key and that's a very common scam if you look into this one that's the uh, the right one this one is like you know 130 dollars and above yeah if you look in here many of them are renamed because they are very heavily used in scams so the scammer is gonna hit you with this all right and it's also name tagged uh when you see the picture you're gonna think it's festive you know uh, you're gonna come in here and search for strange festive scattergun they're gonna ask for 50 you're gonna think this is the right one will be like damn i can make lots of keys out of this and they actually put in this one and that's how you actually get scammed and by the way someone attempted this scam on my first ever annual trading series here is the footage for that he sent me a trade offer saying that he is offering his 15 keys gun for my items which are valued at 12 keys i was so confused like who the freak does that i went into backpack.tf and checked the price it was 15 keys but i noticed that the other gun is facing the right and this gun on the trade is facing the left i checked the market and it was strange festivized scattergun not strange festive scattergun which doesn't even worth a key and that's why he named target it so no one notices i actually almost fell for this one back in the time because i never knew about it before luckily i checked the same community market so yeah they can use many other weapons not just this one so always always make sure to check the steam community market if something is shady check the history of the item and maybe even ask in my discord server if you think anything is shady Discord server is gonna be in the description below it's exactly like playing the game of find the fake but fair not dude you must be sherlock always verify the items at least by checking the steam community market next we have middleman scams a friend request is gonna pop up in your steam chat you're gonna look into the guy's profile he's gonna be like high steam level with lots of fake reputation on his profile maybe even uh, impersonating a youtuber or something he's gonna tell you that he found this a really good deal but he can't take it and wants you to take it he's gonna be the middleman between you and that guy who has that deal he's gonna tell you like for example just for example he's gonna tell you that a guy has a unusual that's worth 100 keys and he wants to sell it for 50 keys but the impersonator is gonna also tell you that he doesn't have that amount of keys right now so he will tell you to take that deal instead of him in return for some extra keys profit but the catch here he doesn't want you to take the deal by trade offers he wants to be the middleman between you and the guy who has that 100 keys unusual so long story short he just wants you to give him the keys and he's gonna run away with them i mean it's a pretty stupid way to scam but yeah i just figured out i might put it in here as well another scam in team fortress is fishing it's not just commonly used in team fortress but in steam in general so the scammers trying to get your login details into your steam you might be surprised how can they so they may send you uh, fake login pages uh, and they're gonna tell you it's a giveaway or it's a new team starting and we want you to join and when you're joining it's gonna 
ask you for your Steam information, including the password. And, and once you enter that in there, they're gonna get access into your Steam account, maybe even send trades. And that's how you can easily get scammed. And that's why Steam authentication is a must to have. Scammers got smarter as well. They also can send you links that when you open, they automatically download scripts and run them into your PC. I mean, it's really like a real life magic trick, but the only thing that disappearing is your precious items, to be honest. So yeah, make sure that Steam authentication is enabled for that extra layer of safety and never, ever, never click any links especially by your friends because recently i got a close friend of mine hacked and sending me a link here is a clip of that bro and this seems like a scam what this is a friend of mine it seems like he got hacked let me just yeah look at this link bro steerm my friend just got hacked, so yeah, be careful from this. Your friend sending you like messages like that. Um, he got hacked. Therefore, I'm sorry, bro, but you got to go. All right, so now we got the quick swap trade scam. You'd be in a trade with someone, and he shows you this hat, the uncraftable Anger. We're gonna go to backpack. Look at the price. It's twenty refined. What they gonna do? They're gonna wait for you to start putting your refined. Usually that's the most time when they do it. Remember, they didn't show you this one yet, okay? So they only showed you this one. They usually not uh, not painted as well, so yeah, just the paint so you guys can differentiate between those. So they're gonna wait you to put your refined. Say you guys agreed uh, about like 50 refines so once you're putting your refines they're gonna remove this one from the trade and add this one all right which is the normal one uh, so you're gonna put like say 50 refined in here this one is actually only three refines um you accept they accept you make the offer and you actually lose it could be way worse than this also if you guys are trading spells they put in like an item they use a description tag to modify the description and make it look like it's spelled the spells however they are always always written in blue in the description so yeah the spells are always written in blue in the description as you can see guys they can just description tag this and write something similar to this you gotta look into the colors as well or they can quick swap as well in the last second. They can put in this one, the spelled one, which is worth a lot, like 16 keys or something. And when you give 16 keys, they just quick swap for this one. You can get scammed this way as well. So always to prevent yourself from falling into this scam, once you click ready, right? They can't change the item. If they change it, offer changed, you can't be ready anymore. So once you click ready, don't accept the offer Make sure to check the items first, like check them and read the description, read everything. Make sure everything matches. Next, we got the buy order manipulation scam. This one is mostly used in unusuals trading, but it can be used in other trading tiers as well. So a guy is gonna come over to you, offering his unusual for a price that's so close to buy orders. Once you check the buy orders, you will see one or two buy orders that are super high than the other ones. Usually these buyers are not bots. In fact, these buy orders are most likely the same guy that traded you just with another account. So make sure that all the buy orders are bots or the buy prices are at least near each other. Also, this happened to me once before. Here is the footage for that. This is a way to trick people into buying items for prices they don't want. This guy traded me and said if I am interested in his items which are only 0.5 keys more than bots. I went into the classifieds page and I noticed that there is a bot paying higher than other bots by 2 keys. So I didn't want to take any risks. I asked the guy if there are any other items for trade and he showed me another unusual. And he said that it's only 0.5 keys more than bots. I checked its classifieds and there were no buy orders because it was strange so i checked the regular version 
and classifieds because the buy orders should be valued at the same and surprisingly there was the same bot paying higher than other bots so guys when you check the classifieds make sure that there are at least two bots close to each other if you want to further educate yourself about trading, especially unusual trading, I'd recommend one of my videos in the outro that's about to come. And that was it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.